Guys, what is up? It is Bo. I'm back. I'm going to get right to it. The Matchbox Corvette Stingray 3. Gold wheels. The super fast Matchbox Pontiac stock car. Gold wheels. Strained a tendon in my thumb. Got it uh, looked at at the doctor today. We're going to be just fine. They put a splint on it, so I'm just going to be in therapy for a little bit. Enough of that. Let's test these bad boys. I busted them out of the package before turning the camera on. 39 grams for the Stingray 3. 37.1 grams for that famous Pontiac stock car. Made famous by a few channels. Bobby D, I think, was the first. We have Elevation Diecast. And we have, I believe, uh, Dale at DXP. I think Brandon might have uh, have a fast one of these too. Maybe some other guys. Um, this guy here I just saw last week on Elevation Diecast, so picked one up really, really cheap um, off of eBay. So right now I'm going to set a spacer, and uh, real quick, a couple improvements to the track. Um, I pinned down some areas here with some Velcro, so everything is pinned along this section and then this section has quarter round in the run so we have a nice straight run right to the finish all right guys i'll be right back and i'll go ahead and set a spacer and we'll get this going first on the blocks is the corvette stingray 3. it's got those gold saw blades no tampos on the back bare on the front has a little bit of crazy tampos on the hood and sides. Not sure if I'm digging the pink. But stance is nice. Nice wide stance. Let's see what it does dry. Not bad. 2078 for an under 40 gram car. Not too bad dry. Let's do another run in the other lane. Run number two. Pretty consistent times. As in, not too bad. 2073. I mean, it's getting a little bit faster, so let's go check out the Pontiac dry, and then we'll dust these bad boys. You know what you love it. The Pontiac Stalker. It's a Pro Auto. On the front, on the quarter panels, pink numbering, not too bad. The Pro Auto livery, I don't know if that's real. I don't know if that is uh, just a made up, made up thing. I thought Oakwood Homes was fake, but there's actually an Oakwood Homes. Uh, do modular homes, I guess. So <laughs> you never know. Here we go. Run one. Uh, dry the Pontiac stock car. Swam a little bit. Swam a lot. Not as good as the Stingray. Twenty-one fourteen. Let's switch it up for the second dry run. Run number two. Swim a little less, but still, yeah, 2115. So 2114, 2115, 2078, and 2073 for the uh, Corvette Stingray. Let's get some dust on these bad boys. We'll run them again, and we'll test them against the ranks. Guys, we came from the dust bucket, so these cars have been worked. Up first is the Pontiac stock car. Let's see how much it improved. And here goes run number one. A little better run. 2088. Okay, let's switch up. First run showed a 25 thousandths improvement. I don't think it's going to get him close to the ranks in the 31 to 40s, but we're going to get him in run number two, and we'll run up, up against the gatekeeper. Run 
Run number two looked about the same to me. Almost dead on the same. 2088 on the first run, 2089 on the second run. All right, it's been a minute. Uh, the gatekeeper in the 31 to 40 plastic is the uh, 2022 Hot Ones Buick GNX. Let's get them in the line. Let's send them down on uh, the left lane and we'll put the Pontiac stock car in the right lane. Unfortunately for the stock car, I don't think this is going to be close. Let's see what happens. All Buick, 2064 to 2090, switch it up. Race two. Buick with some gappage. 2065 to 2091, pretty much spot on with the first race. The Pontiac stock car does not get in. For what it's worth, um, it was a good try. Glad I bought it. And I'm going to chase a couple others. Uh, I think if you have a fast one like David at Elevation, uh, it is a freak, and absolutely they exist. You know, these cars with the gold uh, saw blades, you never know. Uh, the two that I have, uh, the other one was a little faster than this one. But this one was min out of package. And I was hoping for a little bit better than that. That's the way it goes. Here's the car that ran 2070s. 2073 and 2078 without dust. Let's go set the spacer and see what he does with dust. The super fast matchbox Corvette Stingray 3 with dust. Run number one. Tracks well. 2064. Nice time. Let's switch it up. Hot lap two. Ooh, we got a bad start. Probably 2070s there. I did not like the start. Oh, shoot. 2060 with a bad start. Let's get him against that GNX. We may have a contender for the case. Challenger is that super fast matchbox Corvette Stingray 3. The gatekeeper is the Buick Regal GNX Hot Ones 2022. Race one. Horrible start with the Buick. <laughs> We're going to rerun that, but that Corvette's running 2060s. Looks like we might have a contender for the case. Let's do that again. All right, we got them in the same lanes. Let's send them. Perfect start. Wow, great race. 2068 for the GNX, 2070 for the Stingray 3. Two 1,000 speed. And I'm setting a new rule for myself. I'm combining both methods, rocket round and a different speed. 2068 by the GNX is the best time and a 2 1000 speed. We have to have both in order for us to declare a winner. So if he has more than a 2 1000 speed and he beats the 2068 time, he will get the case. If he holds them off, he'll keep it. GNX keeping the gatekeeper spot gets both wins gets the fastest time and definitely you know with both wins obviously you have the uh, the beat so the GNX running pretty damn well there uh, on that second run and uh, good good effort though by the Stingray 3 2061 is no freaking joke uh, I'm gonna run that GNX up the uh, gate, up, up the uh, ranks, and see where it, uh, it lands in case it's gotten a little bit faster. All right, 38.2 grams for the GNX current gatekeeper. Again, excuse my thumb; it's got an ugly splint on it, but we're gonna be fine here in a couple weeks. I got some hand therapy scheduled for next week, and she's really, really good. 36.4 for Toy Story Jesse. Now sits in the number 11 spot, this GNX, uh, I did a little rework earlier 
before before the runs were even done. So it looks like the graphite's breaking in pretty nice. Let's see what we have. Race one. Perfect start. Oh, GNX. 58-64. So that sets the fastest time. And a 6-1000 speed. So Jesse's going to have to beat a 2058 and win by more than 6 one thousandths. It's asking a lot. Here we go. Jesse, yeah, I don't think it's a 6 one thousandths beat. 2062 with a 2 one thousandths beat. That's not enough, but we have two separate winners. We're going to run them off again. If I do like an 8-car, 16-car race, I'll probably just do rocket rounds or the difference of the beat. But when I'm going to play stuff in the case, I'm going to do this combined thing. So right now, this is a rerun. Race 1. Oh, that time to GNX. 62 to 72. So a 10 one thousand beat and a 62 is what Jesse's going to have to do when we switch lanes. So Jesse's task is to beat a 2062 and win by more than 10 one thousandths. If it does that, it keeps its spot. If it only if it wins uh, the race, but uh, doesn't run in 2062, we got to run these run these guys again. Here we go. GNX 6 all day, consistent right now. 67 to 70. I'm going to run Jesse up against that Stingray 3 because Jesse, I don't think, can take it. They're in the line. Oh, yeah. Stingray 3. 2063 to 2068. Five one thousandths beat. Jesse has to beat a 2063 and best a five one thousandths beat to get herself, keep herself as the gatekeeper. Race two. All oh, Stingray's out again and holds. Stingray takes the spot. 20, 59, 20, 67, definitive. Let's get her, or let's get uh, Jesse the hell out of the ranks and put this Stingray three as the gatekeeper. Who knows? It might be faster than some of the cars that uh, are ranked, say, from 8 to 10 right now, or 8 to 11. So for right now, Stingray 3 takes its rightful place as the gatekeeper. We're going to race this Buick GNX up against the number 10. Batman faster than ever. Okay. Let's get him in the line. And let's send him. I'll be right back. I'm going to get these guys set up properly. It's difficult to do with a thumb that doesn't bend, you know? <laughs> Here we go. Race one. Perfect start. And that GNX is cooking right now, guys. 2056 to 2060. Batmobile is going to have to beat a 2056 and have more than a 4 1000 speed. For the number 10 spot, 2056 and more than a 4 1000 speed is what's on the Batmobile right now. Good start. Batmobile is out. Gets the win. Does not. Does not beat a 2056. Does beat the 4 1000s beat. we got to rerun them. There we go. Race 2. We want to see definitive based on the two major formats we use for head-to-head -head racing. It's a place in the ranks. I kind of like this because I'll tell you what, I've been struggling in my ranks with consistency and I think this is going to give it to me. Right now, I'm new, I'm not happy with my speed at all, uh, but maybe this will help. Here we go. Run one. Whoa, GNX said, wait a minute. Oh, God. <laughs> it's almost a one and done, guys. 2052 to a 2069, 17 one thousand speed. So we are going to have to see a better than 2052 and a more than 27, uh, sorry, sorry, more than 17 thousand speed. However, if we see a beat, if we see a beat, 
We're going to have to run them again. I want to see definitive. I want to see two beats. G and X ripping off a of time there. That was crazy. Race two. All G and X. He's on the move. 2061 to 2063. He gets both beats. Batmobile fails in both attempts to beat him in speed or beat him at all. The next up for the GNX is the number 9, 36.8 gram FTE on the spot. GNX in the far lane, on the spocket in the near lane. Race number one. Spocket 57 to 59 to 1000 speed. GNX has to have a better than 2057 and a better than 2 1000 speed to take the spot. Race two. I didn't like that start. Uh, we've got a car hop here. Yeah, for the spocket. So we're going to run those again, guys. All right. GNX has to beat a 2057 and a 2 1000s beat. Race number two. Better start. GNX. 2057 and a 10 1000s beat. He tied him. I'm going to give it to him. In case of a tie like that with the times, he has a bigger beat. So he moves on. I made that call on the fly. So I said, you know, he has to beat it. But if he tied it, then we have a tiebreaker. And a 2 one thousandths beat is not as big as a 10 one thousandths beat. So a call was made on the fly, guys. Sorry about that. But I think that would be the fair way to do it. Here is this Matchbox XK. It's one of the few cars... <laughs> that I have that really hasn't been out there in other channels. So many guys are sending so many fast cars, so many new fast cars. It's great to see. I just don't have the time anymore or the money <laughs> to uh, invest in, in new rides and chase new rides. That Matchbox um, XK is, is hard to get, a little pricey, but it has been real deal for me ever since I got it. So if you see it out there in the flea markets or at dealers, anything under 20 bucks, go ahead and grab it. It's number eight. Let's see what he does against the GNX. He's always good. But the GNX top ended him. Whew. 59 to 61. The matchbox has to have a 2059 or better. Let's see there. So he's got to either tie it or beat it and have more than a 2 1,000 speed. Race 2. No. GNX shuts the door. 2061 again for the Matchbox, which is a good time. Again, 2059 for the GNX. He takes his spot. All right. Next up in the 31 to 40 plastic is the... Number 26, Woody Cheerios. Okay. He's going to go into near lane. And we'll put this hot running, hot ones, GNX, in the far lane. Horrible start. We're going to rerun that one, guys. Horrible, horrible start. 2052 for the Cheerios. That's moving. All right, guys, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I might have a permanent fix to the start gate so it does not hop again. <laughs> I probably jinxed it all. Cheerios in the far lane. GNX in the near lane. Even with car hop <laughs> that I saw, 2052. For the Cheerios, 2057 for the GNX. Let's switch it up. Race two. Good start. All oh, Cheerios. That thing is a killer. 
2050 to 2067. We do have a definitive beat there by the Cheerios, and the Cheerios keeps the number seven spot. All right, guys, a bit of review of the day. We could not get that Pontiac stock car in the ranks. We could get that Stingray 3 uh, super fast matchbox into the number 11 spot. We did some racing after that last race, and it did beat the Batman. Could not beat the Spocket. It's very, very close. They both ran 2063s in the alternate races. He won by six one thousandths. He won by five one thousandths. So we did have a tie. So Spocket keeps the spot. That guy's a killer. Might have to do some racing with him uh, a little later. Guys, thanks. Uh, good being back here. We'll try to get up some videos. Maybe not too many. Because um, some of the cars that I have, I'm not sure they're fast. I'm just going to test them out. If I see something, I'll bring it to you. If not, I'm enjoying your channels and uh, all, that, uh, all the new speed you're bringing to the, commu the community. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.